Hi, this is Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from the United States. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I've got two alternatives for the Beyond the Horizon Paper Pumpkin Kit from March 2022. Let me set them aside and we'll get started. For this first Beyond the Horizon um, alternative, we're going to use one of the printed envelopes. And I've already cut off a piece of the envelope. This is the um, uh, lower portion of the back flap and it's not printed. And I'm going to adhere that to a piece of old olive using my multi-purpose glue. If you prefer um, stamp and seal, use that instead. And then we're just going to make sure that I've left an evenish border all the way around and set this aside for later. Next, I've cut a piece of basic white with a layering circle. And I've got a piece of scrap paper here and that uh, kind of chevron knit looking uh, stamp from the Beyond the Horizon stamp set. And I'm going to ink that in Bumblebee. And then I'm going to stamp off, stamp that right in the center-ish. And then take my Bumblebee out of the way. And next, I want to grab my Misty Moonlight. Oops. Now, Misty Moonlight did come in your kit this month. And I'm going to ink that. And then I'm going to stamp off and stamp up here. And then here on the side. And you'll notice because... I've stamped off and stamped, and then here you get some nice little tonal variation on that, just like you have on that envelope. So again, I stamped off, stamped up at the top, and then come in here, okay? And then I'm going to just clean that sort of real quickly with by stamping more. And then I'm going to grab my old olive ink pad. And I'm going to stamp off a couple of times with the old olive. And I'm just coming in here and adding some color in these places that had bare white and I just want to touch the end of my stamp in here okay so let's put this aside and we're going to hang on to this and I've got one last piece of stamping to do I've got my sentiment from the beyond the horizon stamp set and bring that misty moonlight back in here. And as you can see, this is the piece of basic white that I cut my layering circle from. And I'm just going to use the other end of that same, other side, I guess, of that same piece and come right up here to the edge. And and stamp my sentiment and then you're going to cut this out with your paper snips and I've already done that and you'll get do straight edges around and then use your snips to add a little bit of shape around of you let me move my stamps out of the way over here next I'm going to use the bow punch. I don't know if you can see both of the, so you get a leaf and then a little flower piece in this. Now, normally you, if you wanted them um, all in one color, you would stick your 
whole piece down in here, but I want a two-tone, so I'm going to use my scraps and stick in a piece that's just wide enough so you get your little flower bit here. And I've already done the same for my leaf with Old Olive. This piece is punched from Bumblebee. Now the Bumblebee is retiring at the end of this month, but is currently still in stock. So now we're ready to assemble. So we've got this piece that we layered at the beginning and I've got a basic white card base. And let me grab my dimensionals and put on the back of this layer. And remove that, those backing pieces. And again, we're just checking to make sure that the borders around are even-ish. And everything's straight-ish. Okay, and we've got our stamped circle. We're not ready for that piece yet. And let's add dimensionals on the back of our stamped circles. Circle, not circles. And then I do want dimensionals on the back of our sentiment piece. So I'm gonna use a couple of full size here, but I do want to go all the way out to the end. So I'm going to use some many dimensionals on this as well. Okay, just deciding which side I want to be up on my circle. And again, I'm using my grid paper to line up my card base. And I'm going a little off center and a little below center with that. Now let's bring in our punched pieces from that bow punch. So I've got two in old olive and then our little flower sprig in bumblebee. And I want a dot of glue between these two. So I'm just going to put some on the stem for the piece below just to hold them in place. And then I'm going to put my glue on my sprig here. Okay. And then let's put some down on these lower bits here. Not looking to glue every bit of this down hard. Okay. And then I've got about 24 inches of linen thread and I'm going to start with um, how much I want to leave as a tail here and then begin to loop this. I'm making smallish loops on my bow. So I've doubled and now I've tripled those loops. And then let's come around here. I'm trying to make sure that I don't pull any of these loops through because I feel like I've pulled something as I went around. Okay, so I'm going to hold and pull because this nothing is um, tied in place at this point. So we need to gently pull so I don't pull my loops through on my bow and then I'm going to reach back here and add a glue dot to it and that will hold those in place so that they can't um, 
come untied because again, you didn't really, really tie that bow. And I'm going to let those fall down long and I will come back and trim that in a moment. And again, I'm going below center on the circle. So I've got this coming out the top. And then I am going to let these tails trail off the bottom of the card, but I'm just going to trim them a little bit. And then finally, I've got some of the genial gems. And let's take my take your pick and add some of these to give this just a hint of of sparkle. Okay, and there's our first card using the Beyond the Horizons paper pumpkin kit, our first alternative. Uh, let me clean up and I'll be back with a second alternative. For our second alternate card, we're going to start with another piece of that envelope. And so we're going to use this chevron side and adhere it to a piece of Misty Moonlight cardstock that matches the stampin' spot that was in the Beyond the Horizon kit from March. And then let's just adhere this. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring in let me set this aside a moment. I've got a piece of vellum, and then I've got one of the die-cut leaves from the Beyond the Horizon kit, and I'm just going to dot on adhesive behind my leaf on the, the bigger part here, and as you can see, I'm just doing little dots. Okay, and then let's flip this around. And I'm going to have this flow sort of corner to corner, but not quite. I wanna to touch all of those to make sure they're going to stick. And then I'm going to set this aside to dry for just a moment and we'll do a little stamping. So we're going to use the thanks from the Beyond the Horizon stamp set and Misty Moonlight. That is the ink that came in the Beyond the Horizon kit. And I'm going to set my photopolymer stamp on here and just give it a light rub instead of tapping. And that way I don't get ink all over my block. And Let's go this way on my piece of basic white, making sure I've got plenty when it comes time to punch and I'm not pressing down, I'm holding it in place and then just running my finger across to make sure that those letters get contact. Pressing means you kind of splat um, thin, a thin font letter and we don't want to do that. We want them to look nice and crisp. Okay, and then I'm using my tailored tag punch and just checking to make sure I'm centered and straightish. Now this punch is retiring at the end of April or when it uh, sells out since it is on the retiring list. That's a possibility. I've got my basic white card base and then this layer that we started with at the beginning and I'm going to go ahead and put my dimensionals on here. Let's pull the backings off now. 
and straighten up our card base on the grid paper. If you don't have grid paper, you should get some. It's your friend and it's available in my Stampin' Up! store. Okay, and then we're going to take this piece of vellum that we adhered the leaf to, and I'm going to use many dimensionals and put right behind my leaf to help hold this layer up just a little bit. You can see. And then, of course, those mini dimensionals don't show. Just checking to make sure. Some of these leaves are smaller than the others, and so I don't want to have my dimensionals showing um, through. Okay, let's go ahead and pull the backing off on these. And then we're still straight on the grid paper. And while that doesn't adhere every bit of my vellum down, it's okay. You know that I like to leave some of my pieces a little looser. Okay. And then we're going to go top and bottom here. And I'm just going to set this down for just a moment on here. And I've got some of the flowers for every season. It was a combo pack of uh, ribbon and then this misty moonlight baker's twine that's got the white and a little bit of silver in it. This too is on the retiring list and worth picking up as all three of the ribbons in that pack are very versatile. Okay, and just pulling my sort of knot tight. And let's go ahead and clip this and pull my extra piece out of there. So now I'm going to close that up the rest of the way, give it a little tag tug. You do have to hold as you tug so you don't pull the, the whole thing apart. This isn't a real um, bow in that it's not uh, tied so that it won't come apart easily. So we'll use that glue dot again right behind the sort of knot. And I want to set this in place here before I press down. Make sure it's going to fit with my sentiment here. And let's press all those into place. I'm going to let that piece of the bow come over the top. And then I'm going to bring those genial gems in again. And let's grab my take your pick. And we're going to use some of the green gems this time. Whoops. Got it on my finger. Let's put it back there so that I can place it. I must have a little sticky on my finger since I keep picking them up with my finger. Okay, and there's our second Beyond the Horizon Paper Pumpkin Kit alternative. If you're one of my Paper Pumpkin subscribers, You'll receive your Beyond the Box tutorial bundle the first of next week. If you're not yet a subscriber, use the link in the description below the video. Thanks for stopping in today. Give this a video a thumbs up and share it with your card-making friends. 
And when you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell, you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Have a great day. Bye.